inception, Academic City University College, Ghana, has proven its resolve to become a higher education lighthouse for Africa. For a nation that seeks to thrive in every new world order, A-City's futuristic curricula not only graduates a generation of leaders harnessing the profits of today, but work for the gains of tomorrow through creative thinking, entrepreneurship and innovation. Academic City has been around for the last three years. Our students are fully engaged in projects-based learning, which actually underpins the pillars of our institution. We work on the local event, which was actually a response to the pandemic. Our students are working on the Smart Bean, obviously a response to the waste management challenges that we have in our country and also in the sub-region. Our students are working on an autonomous electric vehicle at this time, having been around for three years and really trying to drive our fingers into some of the critical challenges of our time, uh, for me has been some of the highlights of, of the last three years here in the Valley. Well, Academic City is underpinned by four core pillars, um, which is the learning environment is experiential, our students have to touch, feel, and experience everything that they're doing. You know, telling a story is one thing, getting to do it is a different thing. Uh, it has to be within the African context because ultimately we have to make sure that our graduates are able to function in this environment, which I believe has many more problems than many parts of the world. Uh, the other uh, pillar that kind of makes us different from similarly situated institutions is definitely the concept of unified learning where we bring all the diverse departments together to try to work on common projects. We feel that that is a clear reflection of what the work world is. And then we have extensional, because we also understand realistically you can't do everything in four years. So how do we tool them up so that they can go out there and continue to effectively function outside our campus? So those are the pillars that drive what we do and actually underpin the projects that we've been doing in the last couple of months. For the better part of our student development, our focus is not only on developing academically brilliant students, but students who are ready psychologically to fit into all spheres of societal life. We are very intentional about what we do to prepare our students for the world of work and also to launch them into adulthood. We set aside time specifically dedicated to career development workshops when creating our um, semester's timetable. In preparing future ready leaders, Academic City carved out a unique curriculum which has courses like Leadership 1 and 2. And in these courses, we dove into the minds of leaders and looked at how they handled various tough situations. As Academic City's first Students' Representative Council and the President, I believe that it is important for us to right now establish lasting communication channels for this council and future ones so that we can serve the community well. All students are encouraged to pursue internships from their first year through to their penultimate year. During summer vacation 2019, I had the opportunity to be part of an exchange program in Johannesburg, South Africa, where I took courses in videography, desktop application, and photography. The hands-on learning and interactive session here at Academic City boasted by confident and adequately prepared me for such an opportunity. We are a campus full of diversity and different cultures. Our um, student and community affairs team is experienced in working with people from all walks of life, um, students from all walks of life and different backgrounds. We promote an environment of inclusion and this trickles down all the way to the cafeteria where you will find at least once a month um, meals like culturally inclusive meals like acheke, um, sadza, um, Egushi and pounded yam, which the international students really love because it reminds them of home. There has to be a balance between academic life and social life and we are creating an amazing space for students where we have pool tables, tennis tables, we've got a huge football field, we've got a multi-purpose basketball and volleyball also. And student engagement is an extremely important aspect of student life. The Happiness Club is a student-driven initiative here on Academic City College campus. We started off this club with three main intentions, to share, to give and to create lasting memories for students. 
We have a secure hostel facility which houses 255 students. It's fitted with ACs, shared bathrooms and kitchens, lounges that are also fitted with televisions. It is important to create an environment for students where they're able to express themselves not only academically, but creatively and emotionally. And this is what Academic City has created. To ensure our students are ready for work anywhere across the globe, Academic City University College is making great strides to partner with top-ranked universities to offer our students a diverse view of their programmes of study. Starting fall 2021, Academic City students will have the opportunity to apply for an accelerated master's degree at WPI, meaning that in a span of five years they can earn an undergraduate degree from Academic City and a master's degree from WPI. In addition to this, students will also have the opportunity to apply for a semester or annual exchange at WPI, being based at WPI in residence, taking courses at WPI, paying A-City tuition rates. After successful completion of the 4 plus 1 initiative with WPI, an A-Citizen will have two degrees from two top-end university, which is Academic City University College and WPEI. But more importantly, our students will come out well-rounded, having knowledge for their continent they live in, as well as having exposure internationally. This will make them competitive both at their local, regional and global level. This partnership is a catalyst and endorsement in aligning Academic City to the global benchmark and best practices in academia. And we are just thrilled to have this opportunity and time for our inaugural class of Academic City students. In yesteryears, assistive devices and prosthetics were only intriguing fairy tales and fictions. Today, they are fast becoming the bedrock for a robust economy. We cannot deny that the new technology will drive an efficient and highly productive workforce. Who gets to lead the change? Those well vested in the new know-how. As Academic City, we believe that education has to mimic emerging technology trends in industry. That is why at Academic City, even though we have three main faculties, the Faculty of Engineering, Faculty of Computational Sciences and Informatics, Faculty of Business Administration, Entrepreneurship and Communication Arts, we make sure that these programs have new to emerging technologies such as artificial intelligence, data science, fintech, that's preparing our students for the future of work. You see, the jobs of tomorrow look nothing like the jobs of today. And for our students to be, remain competitive, we need to make sure that we're giving them the adequate skills, knowledge and skill sets so that they can adapt in an ever-evolving world. We are so excited that finally we have rolled out our two new programs, Robotics Engineering and Biomedical Engineering. As we see all over the world, globalization and industrial revolution is still taking off. And to be able to do this, we need graduates who have the skills, knowledge and expertise to be able to run some of these robots that are taking over industries. We know that things like telemedicine, uh, medical operations being operated by robots, will need skill sets even in Ghana to be able to do this. We are at a time in Africa that we can no longer wait for others to develop it. We need to prepare our students to be able to do this themselves. Looking at the current state of roads in Ghana, we as a robotics club decided to come up with a robot or a vehicle that works on legs instead of the normal wheels that are currently available. This was to enable us work on an alternate source of movement, even with the current state of roads we have in the country. These new programs mean that for once, Africa, we can also match pace for pace, boots for boots, what is happening in the West. We no longer have to wait for technologies to be handed down to us, but rather, while it's still new, while it's still emerging, we can have graduates who have the skills and knowledge to be able to apply it in a country like ours. Look at our medical facilities. Look at everything around us. Ghana is starting to talk more about industrialization and we know automation is the way for the future. Biomedical and robotics, those are the future in Ghana. After receiving the presidential scholarship, 
life as an e-citizen has been great. From the lecture hall, to the hostel, to the cafeteria, everything has been on point. Most amazing is that over here in ACT, there's a conducive environment that facilitates teaching and learning. The lectures are also fashioned in a very practical manner and the lectures enable you to establish the link between what you learn in the classroom and the outside world. I'm very, very grateful for this opportunity to unlock my full potential. Considering the fact that we have completely migrated to an online admission process, any applicant interested in applying with Academic City can kindly visit www.act.edu.gh slash admissions or contact any of our admission officers for further assistance. Any applicant who meets the entry requirements for WASI, SSCE, English IB, French IB, IGCSC and A-Level or the American Diploma is more than eligible to be an A-Citizen. Given our new normal, Academic City's early bed discount is still available for all applicants who wish to apply with us now. With our world-class laboratories and equipment, students are ready for an exciting academic journey of 70% practical lessons from the design to the construction automation through to the usage of new technologies. Don't walk into the future not prepared for the new world order. Lead the transformation.